Hey, what's up YouTube? Uh, I've got my 944S and where I'm replacing the tail light housing uh, seals on it. And uh, this isn't going to be a step-by-step -step because uh, you might as well plan on about an hour to an hour and a half per side. I'm just going to kind of go over some tips and tricks uh, to help you get it done and get it done a little faster. Basically what Porsche did is there's some remnants of this stuff. Uh, you, basically they caulked on some it's, this is kind of like a rubberized tar, what I would call it. Sealant just around the um, housing area here. And then pushed the tail light housing in, tightened it up, and called it good. Well, over the years that stuff uh, becomes very brittle and cracks and falls off, falls apart. And then what happens is water leaks through here gets down into your wheel wells and starts to rust these cars out. Uh, get down into like, what the spare tire well as well. This car has been garage kept for well, 28 of its 30 years and there's no issues with rust on this whatsoever. But I just wanted to re replace all the bulbs and I thought well I might as well put some new seals on too. So basically you're going to have to take the rear carpet out and you're going to have to pull back you know, the side carpet there. And then, like this side over here, I don't have done yet. But there's, I believe there's eight, oh, there's six screws holding the housing in. And that's a, I believe they're eight millimeter. Yep, uh, eight millimeter nuts to take your housing out. And you're going to loosen those up and then just kind of push on it from the inside and then use like the uh, plastic pry tool like this uh, to kind of get in behind there and pry this out uh, because it's going to be very sticky and uh, it doesn't come out real easy. But once you get the housing out then the fun starts. You got to scrape all of this uh, rubberized sealant crap off uh, on the metal of the car and on the housing. You can see it right there. And that's going to take some time, but a little tip, I tried a bunch of different stuff and this goof off, the pro strength in the spray can uh, works the best. Uh, I have some that's just in a squeeze bottle that worked okay. Uh, I had some gel that worked okay, but the stuff in the spray bottle worked really well. Just don't spray it on the car, spray it on a rag first because it will take a little bit of the paint off. And I got a little a little more cleanup to do on this, but you're going to want to get it all off of here uh, as clean as possible. And then the seals that I got, you know, there's a little instruction guide here from only944.com. And the seals look like they're this, this right here. Some of those little... Um, peel off adhesive back. And I've already done this side here. That's what the new seal looks like. And it's going to be long so you're going to have to cut it short. So you can see my seam right there. Uh, I started at the bottom. So in case there's ever any water in, it'll at least drip out of the bottom. But I put a little um, dab of super glue on there to kind of seal it together. And that's just been sitting for I don't know, 10, 15 minutes, so it's ready to be put back in as soon as I clean some of this off right here. But I believe those seals were, I uh, they were under 20 bucks. And then, uh, like I said, I, the only reason I'm doing it because I was going to replace all the bulbs, and I just kind of thought, well, I might as well just go all the way. And some tips on these bulbs. Uh, if you go to sylvania.com, uh, they do have one error that... Uh, one of the bulbs is supposed to be a 7506 uh, red or amber, and that's incorrect. Uh, I'll show you what these are. you got 7506 here, here, and here. And then that little guy there, I believe that's the backup light. I'm not for sure, it might be a turn signal, is the 5007. I'm also going to change the license plate light, and that is a 3893. Uh, Pelican parts 
has it wrong on their website because I originally bought um, 1156 for one of these and that's not right. I don't know why their website's wrong but I did a lot of research to figure out what is exactly supposed to be in here. You have three 7506's and one of the 5007's. Um, so I'm going to put that <clears throat> back on the housing and then it's going to go back in through here. You don't have to remove this drain tube if you do it this way. If you're only changing your bulbs you do have to remove this tube like this side over here. Um, otherwise you can't get this um, light bulb housing out. But I think putting these seals on is um, kind of a good investment. You know, it's 20 bucks, it's going to be two and a half hours and I'm never going to have to worry about uh, water leaking in around the tail light housing. So hopefully uh, my video helps you guys you know, speed up the process a little bit and gives you a little bit of confidence in doing it. It's not a hard job, it just takes a little time. Um, only thing I would say, don't. I would recommend don't uh, heat that stuff up. Uh, I thought about if it was warm, it'd come off easier. It actually comes off harder. Uh, it actually gets really mushy and smeary. So you want to keep it cool, and uh, that helped a little bit. You can see some of the remnants how that stuff breaks up. But well, there you have it. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and hope it helps you out uh, a little bit. Thanks for watching.